Hey, what is up everybody? Sergeant Michael Eckert here. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you five tips that are gonna help make pull-ups easier for you. Let's get right into it. All right, so tip number one is gonna be how you place your hand on the bar. Usually what you'll do is you'll just jump up to the bar and grab onto it and over, I don't know, 15, 10 to 15 pull-ups, you'll start to feel like this pinched skin in your hand. I mean, you can see my calluses on my hand right here. But you'll start to feel like this pinched skin and uh, it becomes really painful over time the more reps you do. So I have a tripod here because I'm gonna try to show you what I'm talking about close up and then I'm gonna do it on the bar. So tip number one is gonna be how you place your hands on the bar. What I want you to do, instead of grabbing onto it like this, right? Instead of grabbing onto the bar like this and then your skin folding underneath so you can see it folding right there. What I want you to do is I want you to push up. Push up into the bar and kind of meet in that middle spot where that skin, that tough of skin, so you see how that tough of skin is kind of like bunching up right there? What I want you to do is put that and smush it down so it's nice and flat instead of pinched up. And so the way I do that is you'll see me, every time I grab onto a pull-up bar, I'll push my skin up into it and place my hand on top of it. So now, as I'm doing it, the limiting factor is not gonna be the pain in my hands. So I'll show you on the bar. When I get up here, I'll, every time I get onto a bar, you'll see it. I'll grab on and I'll hold and I'll push up. And now it's almost as though the bar is resting right here, but this, this isn't being pinched anymore. So now you're taking away that pain and the reps become much easier. Instead of grabbing on like this and rot rotating down, which a lot of people do because they'll jump up to the bar and it's hard not to do that. I mean, you can do it if you're already hanging, you can kind of adjust here, but it's easier just to place your hand on top of the bar and then start doing your reps. It's much nicer. So yeah, that's tip number one, hand placement on the bar. Okay, so tip number two, if you think about a pull-up, right, full range of motion is arms fully extended at the top uh, to fully contracted with your chin above the bar. So if you look here, pretend this is the bar. I've gotta go above this point, right? Look at my chin. If I lift my head up, it creates this distance right here. So that's that much of a rep that I could be limiting based on where my chin placement is. So tip number two is gonna be look up. Look up at the sky or whatever is above you and just tilt your head up so you're saving about two inches each time. I'll show you what that looks like on the bar. So here, what I do is I just look up straight, like straight above the bar. So here's my regular rep. If I'm looking down, I have to like reach every time to get my chin above the bar. And a lot of people do that. They'll try to like flick their or head up there. Uh, and the judges, whoever's judging them for Marine Corps, usually it's it's some Marine watching you do that, uh, do the reps, and they're counting one, two, three, and sometimes they'll hesitate, and that'll throw the person performing the pull-ups off. They'll just throw everybody off. So make them clean and very easy to interpret reps. And the way I do that is I just look up the whole time. So I'm just pulling up. My chin is up every time. So that is tip number two, look up, don't look forward. Okay, so tip number three is gonna be don't cross your legs when doing pull-ups. And yes, this tip right here might actually make pull-ups harder for you, but they're gonna make them easier and more practical in the long run. The reason I love pull-ups as an exercise is they are the most practical and functional exercise. Let's pretend like we're getting over a wall. What do you use? Your hands and your, your lat muscles and your biceps to pull yourself over that wall, right? What don't you do when you're trying to get over a wall or an obstacle or whatever the case may be, which a lot of Marines do, they try to get over obstacles. We don't cross our legs. Like pretend if I'm coming up to a wall, my legs are gonna be apart. I gotta kind of back up for this. My legs are gonna be like this. I'm not gonna try to get over a wall like this and just kind of like fishtail my, myself up there. So you wanna think about practicality when you're doing your pull-ups. You wanna make sure that you're, you're not crossing your legs when you're doing your pull-ups. Yes, that might help you in the short term, but in the long term, for practical, functional exercise, you do not wanna cross your legs. Um, and I'm telling you, your reps will go skyrocketing over time if you don't cross your legs. It's gonna transition into more of a functional strength that you can use with your entire body rather than just trying to cross your legs and get that mindset that every time I get on the bar, I'm gonna cross my legs. Every time I taught my Marines how to do pull-ups, I would tell them to uncross their legs, do reps like that, and they started bumping their numbers up in a couple of weeks. So what that looks like, obviously, the normal pull-ups, I haven't even crossed my legs in forever to do pull-ups. Normal pull-ups, we'll cross our legs, we'll kinda use it as like, I don't even know. I don't know why you cross your legs, but what I want you to do is uncross your legs, 
and just do your reps that way. And you can kind of almost flex your quads a little bit. It's gonna be a little weird feeling in the beginning because uh, you're gonna feel a little unstable, but over time, uncrossing your legs is gonna be way more functional, way more beneficial to your pull-up strength. And uh, again, your numbers are gonna go up. So that's tip number three, uncross your legs. Okay, so tip number four is gonna make your pull-ups even a little harder in the beginning, but over, over time, your reps are gonna increase by a lot. It's the same form I use to break the world record for most pull-ups in 60 seconds. And what that is, is gonna be, instead of using shoulder width apart pull-ups, you're gonna increase the range of motion almost as far as tolerable, which means as far as you can go uh, comfortably without injuring yourself or making it like counterproductive and more difficult. They are gonna be more difficult at first, but I want you to think about this. So when I'm doing a pull-up at shoulder width, my arms have to go all the way from here to here. When I'm doing a pull-up at wide grip, I'm doing a pull-up from here to here. The difference in range of motion is gonna be like half a foot maybe. And so you're gonna have to move half a foot less than you would if you had to use your, or bring your hands in at shoulder width. So what that looks like on a bar, normal pull-ups, and yes, you can do alternating between each one, but in competition, you wanna be training, or in a PFT, when you need to do 23 pull-ups to max it out, you wanna make sure your hands, and you wanna, obviously we're going for reps here, okay? Good reps, undebatable reps, so everyone's confident at getting 23 pull-ups. This is for the Marines anyway. You wanna keep your hands nice and wide. What that looks like on the bar, this is gonna be the narrow, traditional pull-up grip, which is also, it is very good. It's very good to do, but it definitely causes you to have to work harder because you're moving further. So what I, and this is coming from uh, a previous world record holder for most pull-ups in 60 seconds. I started to widen my grip to increase my reps. I could do 40 to 45 regular. When I started doing wider, I got up to like 58, 60 pull-ups. So it added even to like, uh, a top tier pull-up person, it added more, almost 20 reps. So remember that. So wide pull-ups, almost as wide as the bar will go. You can even use a wider bar if you want to. But uh, again, in training, just make sure you're training these. I have to move much less than I would if I was here. Much more energy. So yeah, tip number four is widen your grip, start training wide pull-ups, Keep your head up and uh, yeah, just, just open up your grip. Okay, so tip number five is going to be something that I personally discovered while breaking the world record for most pull-ups in 60 seconds. Tip number five is cutting out the eccentric phase of the pull-up. So think about doing 60, or 60 pull-ups in 60 seconds. Okay, that's almost a pull-up a minute. We wanna do that as fast as we can. So gravity only allows you to go so fast, right? If you're coming down, you're only going so fast, as fast as you're falling down and catching yourself, which if you've ever lowered something down, it's called the negative or the eccentric phase, and then you back up. That's the concentric phase. Concentric phase is pulling. So what we wanna do is we wanna cut out that eccentric phase, the lowering down. How are we gonna do that? We're going to push ourselves down into the locked position. We're gonna push it down. Because if you didn't know this, your muscles are still contracting when you're lowering down, okay? They're supporting you the entire time. So you're almost doing, let's think about a rep, a rep and a pull-up. It's gonna be one, two, one, two. Keep them slow and controlled. It's a really good workout, but if you're going for the number count, you're gonna to wanna to cut out that eccentric phase as much as you can, okay? It's not gonna be completely out because you're still hanging on the bar. We wanna cut it out as much as you can. So when you're on the bar, you're gonna be holding onto the bar, you're gonna be chin above. As soon as you get that top of your rep, you're gonna be up, you're gonna shove yourself down into that locked out position. You're just gonna shove, you're just gonna push yourself down. And then you're gonna snap. The reason I say elite pull-up people only or people that are already doing a lot of pull-ups only is because it is stressful on the joints to do this. But if you're going for that max rep count, the most you can do in a minute, the most you could do, or trying to max out your PFT, it's definitely going to increase your numbers because you're coming out locked and you're just basically focusing on the pull-up portion. And so what that looks like on a bar, this is gonna be what a normal pull-up looks like. Hands on the bar, eccentric phase. As you can see, I'll even slow it down. This is the slow eccentric phase. So here's what a world record style pull-up looks like. I'm gonna keep my hands wide. I'm gonna keep looking up. I'm gonna get to the top. Um, also, a little pro tip, 
thumb placement only really matters when you're going super wide because you want that surface area on top if you cut that out you're kind of almost starting to slide in on the bar so you want to keep your hand or your thumb on top of the bar when you're doing super wide pull-ups that's just my recommendation but remember push yourself down so this is what it looks like We're actually beating the force of gravity down. We're pushing it down, accelerating ourselves down into that lock position. So there's no debate in whether or not my elbows are locked out. Even though, again, it is really stressful in the joints, okay? Only do it when you're properly warmed up, properly experienced at pull-ups. Uh, but it will definitely, definitely increase your numbers, okay? Number five is, is a must if you are trying to get up to like the 30 or 40 range. Okay, so what do we cover? We covered uh, number one, skin placement. Number two was look up, chin above the bar. Number three is don't cross your legs. Number four, keep your pull-ups wider than shoulder width. And number five, push yourself down into that locked out position, meeting, beating gravity and cutting out that eccentric phase. Uh, and that is it. Those are my five pro tips for increasing your pull-up numbers. Again, some of them are gonna make your numbers go down at first, but as you progress into the uh, or getting stronger in the wider version and the different forms of not crossing your legs, your pull-up numbers will start to go up, I promise. This is coming from a world record breaker for pull-ups. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you please wanna see more, please leave a comment in the description or uh, in the comment box. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more of this sort of stuff. Uh, anyway, take care, thanks.